everybody, Randy Steifer here with part three of my post-processing workflow series. In part one, we went over how I use Adobe Bridge and Camera Raw to sort through and get my photos into Photoshop. In part two, I showed you about masking, the two different ways I mask, either using just Photoshop or using a Photoshop plugin from Topaz called Remask. Now we're on to part three. Today we're going to cover the cloning tool the healing brush and go to 100% use the space bar to grab the image and slide it down and we're already on the healing brush I've already selected 81 pixels which gives me a good size hardness I usually like to keep around 50% 47 is fine so you come over here and you hit the alt key which changes from a changes your cursor from a circle to a bullseye and then you left click the area that you want to select and we're on the mask so let's try that again hit the alt key get the bullseye select your area what that does is it gives you an it gives the healing brush the area to use to heal what you're going to go over so then we just left click and slide the cursor over it and it's going to take this area over here that you select it and use that to heal this area. And it did a pretty good job. Now if you don't like it, hit Control Alt and Z. That undo, undoes it. Then you can click the clone tool instead. Alt key again, select your area. Now what the clone tool does is instead of trying to heal it, it just pastes the area you selected right over the top of what you're trying to get rid of. So let's go back to the sand because it doesn't want to stay on the sand. Alt, select, and then go right over it. And there you go, it's gone. So that is how you use the healing brush and the clone tool to do touch up in your photos. Now let's go to the body and we'll demonstrate the curve tool. Now let's move on and I'm going to demonstrate on the body, the bird, how to do the curves tool. Which is under image, adjustment, curves okay now this you see your histogram right here in gray and this current line is the current adjustment of your photo and up here at the top is your whites and then your midtones then your shadows and at the bottom is your blacks now I always start by adjusting the highlights and whites and then the shadows and blacks and then I move on to do a little trick that I've learned that, that usually makes the photo pop. Instead of the histogram being way over here in the highlights and whites, let's say it was it ended right here. Well we'd want to make that brighter. So we could drag this up and as you see on the body of the bird it got way brighter. But we are slammed over against the whites and highlights so let's darken up the whites and highlights a little bit. We can drag it down a little bit. There we go. Maybe a little too much. Up just a little. There we go that works. And then do the same with the shadows. Now it's over here and you would think that you know like it being over here you'd want to take it up. But that's wrong. That makes your blacks and shadows brighter which pushes it even further that way. So we want to grab it and drag it down a little bit. Come on, give me the cursor. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Bird's looking nice and dramatic. Now, I found that most of the time, if you grab it right here in the center, you a little tug down, makes everything look nice and good. Sometimes going up is better. But for the most part, going down is. And that looks pretty good. In fact, now just a little bit. Okay, now we've got the bird's body adjusted with the curves tool. So, to review, we've used the clone tool. We've used the healing brush. And we've done image adjustments, curves. And that's our video for today. Have a great day get out there and enjoy some nature.